The universe is a dynamic stage where stars are born, shine, and eventually die in a cycle spanning billions of years. This cycle of stellar life is a fundamental narrative in cosmology, giving rise to essential elements and shaping the evolution of the cosmos. We stand on the cusp of a birth. The cycle of a new stellar life begins within one of these nebulas, where once lay a dying star that exhausted its fuel and collapsed upon itself, exploding into a supernova, leaving behind a trace. Here, in this molecular cloud, lies a stellar nursery, a cloud of gas scattered across this corner of the universe. The supernova has left behind heavy materials and cosmic dust, essential substances. Within these emerges a fundamental force of nature, acting upon mass and energy known as gravity. A binding force, working by collapsing these clouds into denser areas called molecular clouds. At the heart of these clouds, gravity continues its work, compressing the gas and dust further. As density increases, a condensation core forms little by little. Gravity draws more elements towards the core. This causes temperature and pressure to rise. Hydrogen heats up to a point where it fuses into helium, releasing an immense amount of energy in the form of light and heat, triggering the first nuclear fusion. The first heartbeat has initiated a new cycle of life. A star is born. After forming from a cloud of gas and dust in a nebula, a star enters its main sequence stage when the process of nuclear fusion ignites in its core. This means that atoms in the star's core combine and fuse, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. Nuclear fusion is the same process that occurs inside a hydrogen bomb, but at much more extreme temperatures and pressures. The star in this stage is in balance. The energy released by nuclear reactions in its core pushes outward, while gravity acting on the star's mass tries to collapse it inward. This tug of war between internal pressure and gravity creates stability, keeping the star in shape and shining for a significant period of time, which can vary from millions to billions of years, depending on the star's mass. The primary reaction occurring in the core is the fusion of hydrogen to form helium through the process of thermonuclear fusion. In this process, hydrogen nuclei combine to form helium nuclei, releasing energy in the form of photons of light and heat. This energy radiates outward from the core, traversing the star's outer layers and ultimately escaping into space as visible light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation. The intensity of the light and heat emitted by a star in its main sequence depends on its mass. Massive stars, due to higher pressure and temperature in the core, emit much more energy than less massive stars. This difference in brightness is why we see stars in the night sky with varying colors and luminosities. As a star goes through its main stage of nuclear fusion, the hydrogen in its core gradually depletes. As the amount of hydrogen diminishes, the star begins to undergo significant changes in its structure and behavior. As hydrogen depletes in the core, the star starts fusing helium and other heavier elements. These fusion reactions release energy and cause an increase in pressure in the core. This additional pressure pushes outward, causing the outer layers of the star to expand. The star can significantly increase in size, becoming a red giant or even a supergiant.
Due to its expansion, the star's surface temperature can decrease, affecting its color. Stars that were once white or blue during their main sequence can become redder during this red giant phase. As the star swells, its outer layers may become unstable and begin to pulsate, expanding and contracting. In some cases, these pulsations can result in the loss of outer layers through stellar winds, creating a shell of gas and dust around the star. For massive stars, the outer layers can be ejected in a spectacular explosion called a supernova, marking the end of their lives. The explosion of a supernova disperses newly created chemical elements into space. These elements, such as gold, silver, iron, and many others, enrich the interstellar medium. These elements can be used to form new generations of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. The stellar life cycle is a continuous process that connects stars and the cosmos as a whole. Throughout this cycle, stars create, enrich, and renew the elements that form the foundation of matter and life in the universe. The stellar life cycle is an interconnected process that binds stars with the cosmos. Throughout this cycle, stars forge and disperse essential elements, enriching the universe with materials necessary for life and the creation of new stars. From their birth to their dramatic deaths in supernovae, stars shape cosmic evolution, playing a fundamental role in shaping and enriching the fabric of the universe.